Hey everyone, Johnny5 Alive here, and today we're gonna to be doing something a little bit different. We're gonna review AeroZoom acoustic foam panels. So stay tuned and let's check it out. All right, before we begin, I just want to let everyone know this is not a sponsored video. However, AeroZoom did offer to cover the cost of 48 of the 200 panels that I ended up ordering for doing this review video. I reached out to them and was asking about the product and uh, they, they said, hey, well, you know, we'll throw some panels your way. You make a review and I'm working on the office right now. So I decided, you know, I wanted to show you guys a little vlog of the office anyways and talk about the sound panels that I was getting. So what are these acoustic foam panels and what are they good for? As you guys could tell, there's a huge echo in this room. So they definitely are supposed to reduce echo and we're going to find that out with a before and after sound test and uh, as you can tell right now it's pretty darn bad so i really hope they do the trick i ordered quite a lot of them and so you know they won't soundproof a room entirely however if you have enough of them the echo is going to be reduced which means there's m less reverberations and less noise coming from a room so if you're in the room next over you might end up having a reduced sound so it might help a little bit if you're uh, kind of looking to soundproof, it's probably not the best product, but it could help. So talking about the product, AeroZoom sent me 48 of the black and gray, which I plan on putting on my brown feature wall. And I have purchased 150 of these blue and black to cover all my other blue walls. So these are the 25 centimeter pyramid style foam. Uh, you can get the wedge, which is just a straight cut across, and you can do some pretty cool patterns with that. However, this is said to displace sound better, so it's more effective, which is why I got this. You can also get the 50 centimeter panels, as well as some bass dampeners, if you're uh, actually playing music in the room and have lots of bassy sounds. However, I'm just recording, so I'm looking to make a little bit of like a recording booth no instruments no speakers really so i don't need much bass dampeners or anything like that so i have one last package that arrived late from amazon which is a 24 pack of blue and black we're going to open that up and show you guys what it looks like before when it first arrives the process of how you get it to reshape itself so you can get this stuff off amazon i would recommend the aero zoom product from amazon not the no-name brands and stuff uh, it does seem to be the best product out there however on amazon you're got slim pickings the only reason I went there was because I got prime two-day shipping which allowed me to get moving on with the room as soon as possible which is very convenient for me however the selections were very minimal I had just enough to cover my needs with the prime shipping otherwise I would have gone to the website because they have everything you need every single color combination and uh, quite a great selection so check out the aero zoom website links are down in the description below and i'll also give you guys a product code that i'll bring up on screen here you enter that into the checkout you will save 10 percent off your first purchase so that's a nice little thing to reduce the price because you might be spending maybe 300 500 on this to do your whole room depending on the size of your room and that could save you 30 to 50 dollars off your first purchase so there you go. All right, so we got the Amazon box. Let's open this guy up. So this here is what you're looking at for a 24 pack. You're probably wondering how did 24 fit in here? Yep, well, it's vacuum sealed. So we're gonna go ahead and open this guy up. This is what you're getting fresh out of the package. It's super flat and super squished. Let's talk about the process. First, you wanna kind of separate them all and you're supposed to let them sit for 24 hours. However, I haven't noticed a difference between the third hour and the, the 24th hour. So basically after three hours, that's as much as they were gonna get. And then uh, from there, the ones that didn't fully expand, I had to throw into a warm bath, rinse out, like squeeze it out and then I had to uh, blow dry it a little bit. Then I laid them all out and put three super fans on top of them. 24 hours later, they seem to be pretty 
good, not so damp. So I recommend letting them sit for about three hours, then putting them straight into bath water. You, you move on with life a lot faster. The process continues much quicker, but you should give them at least a few hours to air out. So unfortunately, these guys are late, or I'm gonna have to let them sit for a little bit, then put them straight into bath water, let them start drying while I start putting up all my panels. So there's a final look at them fresh out of the pack. I'm gonna let them air out like this for a few hours, and now it's time to show you guys some before and after. Here's a quick look at all the unpacked panels that I first received, not including the ones we just opened. Here's what they looked like 24 hours after waiting. You could see a lot of the black ones have regained their shape. <laughs> Here's the final product, guys. So after a warm bath and, and drying out for another 24 hours, you could see that they all have regained their shape. Not all of them needed to be soaked. I left a bunch of the black ones. Gonna think about my design for a couple hours after I go soak the rest of those and uh, let those dry out. Hopefully I'll have my design ready. I can start putting them up and then we can show you guys the final result. Before we begin, we wanna talk about the different methods of placing these up on the walls. And uh, I have a couple different things here. I got some Scotch double-sided permanent mounting tape. I don't think I'm actually gonna use this. I just bought it in case I wanted to put some on the ceiling. Um, however, I'm going with T-pins. I bought like six packs of these, 600 T-pins. I saw some Someone else on YouTube do these and it seemed to be quite successful. It's gonna put little holes in the wall. However, once I put these things up, I don't plan on really taking them down. If I do take them down, I'm probably gonna be repainting the room anyways. The other options, I'll bring it up on screen here for you guys. Easy mounting transparent tape that they sell on the website. Now you can put uh, just one or two pieces onto the small 25 centimeter pads and it should hold up pretty well. This stuff does not leave any residue behind. You can stick it up, pull it back down and you're good to go. However, it is a little bit pricey considering you get 24 for $20. You're going to end up having to buy 10 of these packs at least. If you're on a budget, maybe not the best idea. If price is not an issue for you, this is probably better than the T-pin. So I would highly recommend going with this stuff. I'll put a link down in the description below. Your next option is you can actually go for the self-adhesive foams. So you can buy this stuff. You pull the backs off and it will just stick to the wall. So that is actually a pretty good option. However, this stuff will, I hear that it will kind of tear up your walls a little bit. So unless you're planning on doing it permanently, then I wouldn't go with this option, but it might give you some better results overall. So I would highly, highly recommend the mounting tape that comes from the website. It seems like the best bet but we're gonna cheap out today and we're going to use the T-pins and we'll see how that works out. All right, let's take a look at the final result, everyone. Hopefully my uh, phone camera and video isn't too bad. That's the big J5 wall. That's the main computer screen wall. I like the strip of black there right behind the monitors. This wall I struggled with a little bit. As you can see it's not quite level. Well, that's because this window is extremely sloped. So I ended up going upward and then I had to go downward. But that wall turned out really good. And the uh, brown feature wall, uh, I ended up pulling the panels from behind this shelf here see, <laughs> and putting them into the shelf I actually quite like that yeah the uh, door here I actually really like the way this door turned out so I'm glad I got the scotch masking tape the double-sided scotch tape because I couldn't put the pins into the door. Lastly, I put up this curtain bar. I have an AeroZoom soundproof curtain coming. So this is temporary just to help the sound behind me. All right, now that it's all set up, it's time to do another sound test. Test echo, test echo, test echo, test echo. Clap test, clap test, clap test, clap test. 
So you guys heard the before and after. In terms of clapping really loudly, I can hear a little bit of echo bouncing off the hardwood floors and the ceiling. There's just a little bit of vertical echo. It's not too bad at all, as you guys can hear, just the sound of the recording. My voice, I'm sure you could tell the difference from the beginning of the video till now. I've done a couple recordings for the channel so far. They sound great. So maybe if I'm being really loud, you might hear a little bit, but it's pretty, pretty awesome. The blanket, it's not fully to the ground here, so there might be a little bit of sound bouncing back and forth in there. I have a soundproof curtain coming in from AeroZoom. They also sell those. I'll have a link down in the description below. I think I paid about $80 for it. I got a brown one to match the wall and the closet. Maybe I'll do a little update video in the future. I do want to do a vlog on the room, so maybe in good, a good time when that's in and everything else is set up. We'll do a vlog, tell you guys how the sound curtain is, take down that shabby blanket in the background. That's serving its purpose for now. I do think it would benefit to do the roof or the ceiling, sorry. I, I still want some panels for the ceiling now, or at least just right above me. I think that could help a little bit, but in terms of am I able to record without an echo, without an issue? Yes, before it was just, it was severely bad. My recording sounded terrible. It worked. It's a solid product. I'm really happy with the way it turned out and I highly, highly recommend this product. Um, I kind of want to buy more now. I, there's a little spot back there, as you can see, that I want to fill at the bottom of the door could be as well. The side of the door, I did not get this, the closet wall and just a few little spots here and there and then obviously the ceiling would be nice so i'm convinced that it's a great product so much so that i would like to get some more and to be honest you guys this uh it makes it feel really cozy in here it gives there's before it's just a plain i mean I, I put a lot of effort into painting the walls so i wanted to show still some some of the colors and and the, the paint that i bought and painted <laughs> we have a little bit of trim and color still showing but the design, the J5, this is my studio, so it's nice having a little like logo there. This back wall, the feature wall for the computer looks really awesome. Same with this one with all the shelves, and I'm gonna have all these knickknacks and collectibles on there. Um, as time goes, this room's gonna feel cozier and cozier. Now these panels are about two inches, so you put them all around the room. That makes the room feel a little bit smaller, and because some of the black panels are really dark, it, it kind of makes the room feel a little bit smaller as well, but that adds this coziness to it. Now I wanna do the ceiling just to kind of make it even more cozy, but yeah, I like it. It's, it's really cool. So I highly recommend this product if you guys have an echo in your room. If you're in a really big room, it'd probably be good to pad some walls. You could just do like some triangle designs and uh, just space them out that might actually help the echo of a large room if you got a small little office like me or you're in a bedroom um, it's gonna make your recording that much better and your gaming that much better if even if you're not a youtuber and you're not you know doing anything like that but you're gaming online it could improve the way your voice sounds and carries in, into your uh into your games and everything that you need to do exactly what I did. Uh, I'll have all the links down in the, uh, the description below. The T-pins, the uh, scotch tape that I use for the door, <laughs> that stuff, <laughs> it's awesome. It works really, really well. Yeah, the panels that I purchased, links to the AeroZoom website, and even the uh, soundproof curtain, I'll give you guys a link to that as well. Overall, really happy with this and stay tuned, you guys. In the future, I'll do a vlog of the whole room once I get that curtain in, set up a few more things, get some knickknacks, and uh, in due time and I, I think it'll be fun to do some more vlogs in the future as I got many projects going on this being the first of many <laughs> all right guys that's gonna do it for my review here today I give it a gleaming thumbs up definitely recommend this product it worked and I'm happy all right guys thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video bye now <laughs>